Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol IDRA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was just yesterday, and then you look at where the price closed today, any rational person would say, yeah, the, the, the bulls definitely made a very nice move on the day. But that does lead to the, the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is right here at, uh, what is that? $1.90, why is $1.90 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not going to go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about $1.90. Any sort of closes below it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out of. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price does pull back, not saying it will, but just for example's sake, pulls back and then behaves in this manner where it goes sideways and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this case, I'm quantifying and defining, quote unquote, make progress forward as $1.90. Now, what about areas of resistance? Pretty straightforward at this point in time, the party stopped today right up there at the $2.10 mark. So that'll be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. But all in all, there's no doubt about it. Price made a great move today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.